with the FBI being brought in to investigate the NFL's response. Rutgers Rice. has suspended leading wide receiver. Leon. Two San Antonio high school football players who each blindsided a referee. Carolina being placed on probation. Hello, my name is Emmett Gill and welcome to the Two Minute Warning. Today, let's talk about marijuana use, athletes, and college and pro sports. Marijuana continues to challenge college and professional sports. Almost every week, there is a story on a college or professional athlete who is caught after smoking weed, caught before smoking weed, driving with a homie who has some weed, selling some weed, or if your former Portland Trail Blazer Cliff Robinson going into the weed business. College and professional sports franchises must deal with the reality that four states have legalized marijuana and several more allow for or are examining marijuana use for medicinal purposes. At least one quarter of college athletes experience some form of a mental health disorder, and some of the symptoms of these disorders are relieved by medicinal marijuana use. Nonetheless, there are many layers to this onion, or in this case, this leaf. For example, some players play high, and of those, some might suggest they play better or cannot play without marijuana. So, is marijuana a performance-enhancing drug for athletes? Is denying medicinal use for a mental health disability against the law in states that allow for marijuana medicinal use? Or, what about the school of thought that says marijuana is useful in protecting athletes in high-impact sports from concussions? Is marijuana as a pain medication better than the drugs that college and professional athletes continuously tend to get hooked on? What is clear is that college athletic departments are challenged by Mary Jane. And if any athletic department has a resolution, they should patent and profit from strategies that dissuade players from 420. Moreover, Professional sports franchises are left to deal with addicted employees slash athletes and the public fallout that unfolds when college athletic departments have ignored marijuana use and in most instances abuse. Further, athletes' psychological and physical welfare are neglected when athletic departments ignore failed drug tests or employ the three, not three, but the ten strikes in your out rule. Maybe it's time for the NCAA and member institutions, along with professional sports leagues, to develop a task force to develop more progressive perspectives, policies, and strategies on marijuana use in sports. Because like it or not, the legalization of marijuana will generate $8.7 billion per year in the United States. So legalization will eventually happen. I am Emmett Gill. This has been the Two Minute Warning, and thank you for joining us.